So now we're on to a completely different project and in this one it's very short. All we're going to be doing is setting up GitHub login for an Express app. And to get started with this you can just uh, open the database link on GitHub and then copy the URL here and then in Glitch you can click new project, import from GitHub and paste in that URL to um, download it. And um, let's have a look at what's going on here. So we have um, the server.js and it's got Express body parser um, some free code camp testing tool, Express Session, Mongo Client, and Passport. So we have everything pretty much that we used in the uh, previous challenge, apart from uh, Bcrypt. We also have Pug declared as the view engine. Um, then what th they do is they try to connect to the database. And right now, we haven't set up the database URI, which is why this is hanging right now, and it's not doing anything. Um, we have... Uh, express session mounted for all of them and um, we need to set up a session secret then uh, we have an ensure authenticated function that basically uh, only runs the next middleware if they're signed in uh, we have a serialized function that takes in a user document and saves the ID to a cookie we have a deserialized uh, function that takes the ID from a cookie and it finds um, the document and remember the collection name here is social users and that'll be important later and it will return that document we have space here to add the code, our code here. For the base root, all it does is it loads this uh, index page, index.pug, and it's just got a button saying login with GitHub. Um, then we have a profile page, but that requires authentication first. We have a logout, which destroys the cookie by calling the logout. And then we have a 404 route if a route isn't found. And finally, the app listens on port 3000. So before we can get started with this, there's a few things that we need to fix. The first thing we need to fix is the uh, database problem. And that's because we haven't set up a database. So what I've just done to start off with is I put my database password in an environment variable here called PW. Um, this isn't my full password, so it, I'm not too worried about it being shown. Um, and what you want to do is, uh, I have a database here in my free code camp cluster called advanced node, but if you don't have that, you want to just click create a database here and create one. Then what you want to do is go to clusters, then click connect, and then connect your application. And the driver is a node, and that's fine. So you just want to copy this link right here. And up here, what you just want to do is say, um, let URI equals and then just paste in this link and we have the username filled out already um, what I'm going to do here is just um, insert my password in so we just want to do uh, process.env.pw which is where my password was stored and that will insert in the password and concatenate it into this URI string right here and you also want to replace your database name and remember my database name uh, was called advanced node so that's what we need to insert here so yeah this is called advanced node so just we want to just put advanced node or whatever your database name is in here and then when you call in the connect method on the Mongo client you just want to make sure that it uses this URI right here Okay, so that's the database connection sorted. Uh, the next thing we need to do is set, set up a session secret environment variable um, for express session. Remember that all the session cookies are hashed with this secret. Um, and I'm just gonna set up a random string here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you use for this project. Obviously in real life, you'd use something a bit more secure than this, but um, it doesn't matter too much right now. So I'm just gonna put this random string here. Uh, we're going to be using um, GitHub login for this and to do this we need to get ourselves an API key for this and the way you would do that is you need to set up a new OAuth application on GitHub so just open this link right here and I'm just going to drag this along um, into here there we go and where it says OAuth apps you just want to create click create new OAuth, OAuth app here and you want to copy the live app link of your uh, glitch page and you want to paste that in as your um, home page URL. For our, your application name, just give it a name. Um, I'm just going to call this FCC GitHub. Um, and this will be shown to users when they sign in. Um, you can also add an application description here, but that doesn't matter too much for now. And what will happen is that uh, when we create a get to this route and we mount um, some 
local strategy for GitHub, which we'll do later, and they'll be taken to the GitHub sign-in page, and then they'll sign in, read the terms and conditions or whatever. And then what we have to do is provide a callback URL. And what GitHub will then do is it'll um, route to that URL and it will add some profile information for that. And then what we can do is mount um, a middleware for that URL that then, um, you know, puts the user's details into the database or, you know, calls some passport methods or whatever. And we So we want to provide a callback URL here. And the callback URL that FreeCodeCamp want us to use is... Um, let me just find it. Yeah, it's slash auth slash github slash callback. And that's the callback URL we want to give it. Um, again, what this will do is after the sign in, we'll be rooted to this URL, they'll be rooted to this URL, and we can mount some middleware to grab some profile information from that route. So that's what you need to do there. And you want to just click register application. Okay, so now we have an application. And this client ID and client secret are kind of like a username and password so that GitHub knows that um, they're, being, they're being redirected to your application and it knows who the owner of the application is. Um, obviously, you should never ever share this with anyone and um, after this video is done, I'm gonna be resetting this myself. Um, but what you need to do is you need to store these in an environment variables because we're gonna be using them in our strategy. So the first one we want to do is we want to create an environment variable called GitHub Client ID, and again uh, we're not using these right now, but we will be using them in our um, local strategy that we set up later. And you just want to copy the uh, client ID and paste it into here. We also need to add the client secret variable, and that is just GitHub underscore client underscore secret in capitals as well. And you just want to also copy that from GitHub right here. Um, and again, I will be changing this after I'm done with this. So that's all our environment variables set up. So the final thing we need to do is, um, if we refresh this now, by the way, um, we should see that it works since we've fixed our database problems. And we just want to make sure that we route this button to um, the GitHub login. And the way we'll be doing that is in the next video, we'll be setting up this um, local strategy to do this called passports-github. But for now, we're just going to authenticate with it. And again, we'll set that up in the next video. So um, if we look at views and then index.pug, we can see that the root for this is slash auth slash github. So we want to make sure that we set up a get root for that. Um, so you want to just add your code in here. So what I'll say is app dot, and then I'm going to use the app dot root way that they've done it here. But you, in real in a real life scenario, you could use app dot um, get here. But I'm just going to use app dot root dot get, and the root that we want to set it up for is um, slash auth slash GitHub, which is basically where that uh, hyperlink here goes to. Right, so what we want to do in here is we just want to call a passport middleware function, uh, which is the authenticate one. And this basically allows us to authenticate with a local strategy. And again, we're going to be setting up the GitHub local strategy in the next video, but for now, you just want to give GitHub here. Oops. And that basically, when we click this button, it will uh, launch the GitHub login once we set up our local strategy. Another thing that we need to do is set up the local strategy uh, for the callback URL because remember once they've signed in they'll be rooted to that URL. So we want to say app.root and this time it's slash auth slash github slash callback and again it's going to be get inside this. And um, obviously we'll be doing our local strategy here as well. So. Again, we want to just use the passport.authenticate github here. Um, this is really confusing at the moment because we haven't set up the local strategy. But once we've set that up, you'll see how this all works. So we, again, it'll authenticate uh, with github. But this time we also want to set up a failure redirect because this is after the sign-in. So we want to make sure that if, if it fails for some reason, uh, we just want to redirect them back to the login route. And that's not the only thing we need to do here. We also need to mount our own middleware function. And if the authentication passes, we just want to uh, route to the slash profile route um, because that's what we that's what we need to do next. So we just want to say uh, rest.redirect 
slash profile. And that should be everything uh, we need to do for this challenge. So I'm just going to copy the live app and paste it. I have a feeling that this is not going to work though because of the strict way that this gets marked. No, that seems to have worked fine. So um, again, I'm going to explain the solution. So what happens again is that when they click the button, they'll be root, they'll set up this error. Uh, they'll be sent to this root slash or slash github and what we'll do is we'll authenticate that with a, a passport strategy called uh, github and we'll set that up in the next video and once they've signed in through github they'll be redirected to this uh, callback url right here and we have a route for that and then we'll check the authentication again but this time github will have added some profile information and this has a tendency to fail for some reason. So we have to make sure that we send them back to the sign-in page if it fails. And if it doesn't fail, it'll run the next middleware here, which redirects them to their profile page. So that should be everything you need to do for this challenge. Um, this challenge is very, very specific in terms of having like exact code matching. So if you have a problem with passing these tests, um, you have to make sure that you just copy and paste it from your uh, from the example solution. But yeah, that's everything you need to do and you can go ahead and submit that.